look at this video from electric vehicles to electric bikes and scooters, cell phones, laptops, and even electric toothbrushes, dangerous and deadly incidents involving lithium batteries have been on the rise. The FAA says lithium battery fires on U.S. flights have risen 388% in the last 10 years. That danger is inspiring engineers to develop new technology to help contain those fires. Tonight, your reporter in Boulder County, Sarah Horbakowitz, is sharing how leaders in her community are stopping the fires before they start. Behind your locked phone is a lot of information. And if tech is ever tied to a crime, the Boulder County Sheriff's Office can follow a warrant to find that information as evidence. Computers, laptops, pretty much anything, uh, VR headsets, basically everything in our lives has uh, is digital stuff attached to it. Sergeant Clay Leak is in the digital forensics lab, working to crack dozens of phones in their evidence locker, all charging all the time. We've had a few batteries come in bulging, and that's one of the first uh, concerns is, gosh, what if, you know, what if something happens to this? And we don't want to burn the building down or, or destroy any of our evidence. The worry comes from the risk for lithium battery fires. You may have seen stories of these at homes or on planes. The fires can happen if the battery powering our everyday tech gets damaged or overheats. The FAA says it's happening every week and new tech company Lithium FireGuard is working to stop it. We added the fire extinguisher, we added the ax, we added the defibrillator and not very long we are going to see this box sitting there. So if they have a lithium battery powered device that's overheating, they can throw it on a table, put the guard on top. It'll scoop into the box and once you lock it, you can fill it with water here. The fumes from that fire will also be filtered out. It's the only certified way the company says will put these lithium fires out. The batteries create their own oxygen, so you can't snuff these batteries out with a blanket. While the device was originally intended for aviation, this box is one of the latest purchases by the Boulder County Sheriff's Office. You can't put a price on being able to you know, guarantee the safety of my examiners uh, because of the toxic fumes that would come off during a uh, battery fire. Right now, FireGuard is selling to anyone who uses technology, hoping to create more preventative measures later this year. Reporting in Boulder, Sarah Horbakowitz covering Colorado First. Sarah is your reporter in Boulder and Broomfield counties. If you have an issue you want Sarah to look into, just send her an email at yourreporter at cbs.com.